dangerous game kids play is to tunnel in snowbanks near the road. A few years ago, one boy actually just got off the phone with the first energy spokeswoman. Whoa. And we just got hit with a blast of snow from a plow truck. But anyway, there goes a couple of plows demonstrating what I said. Woo! What I said hitting us. All right, there you go. Here comes another one. See? There they knocked it. Four plow trucks, four plow trucks, and you can still still snow covers. If you come uh, my photographer come look here. Oh. Or even bigger from some of the snow that's oh. <laughs> It's tough. Reporting live at 80th and Metcalf in Overland Park, Tom Waite, oh, KCTV 5 News. He's okay. We got about a, a good inch or so. <laughs> a good inch or so <laughs> on snow on the ground. And it's almost a subsonic. Have you ever been to a concert? Some people are going even slower than that. <laughs> so it's extremely slippery. I actually just fell. <laughs> yeah. Трибун на самом деле только красивая обложка. Там внизу в потрибунных помещениях все давно уже. This is what happens when you're, uh, you can fall. Here with Irene, Just feeling like you're standing in a sand blaster. And it's actually very dangerous because you have the added bonus of frostbite. So this is a big problem. This is why we are, are very well done up right now. Whoa. So I've got my trusty stopwatch, and here they come down the hill. It looks like Ruben is in the lead, and here yeah. comes out. And this... Oh, jeez! That was a bad idea. At Riverside Park, Rob Leth, Global News. So I've been getting lessons from the semi-pros, right? Yeah. This morning on <laughs> the proper way to sled down a hill that's more muddy than snowy. They say, no matter what, just have fun. Use your hands. And make sure you steer. Oh boy. <gasps> Hi you guys. So I'm here with Richard and Katie from the Utah Nordic Alliance of Utah. And you guys are teaching me how to cross country ski. So give us some base. Okay. <laughs> Right. Yes. Now I'm gonna to toss it back to you guys. I just slipped and fell, so we're under a winter weather warning right now. Here's a live look at the Fox Six Snow Stick. This is out on the weather dick deck. But uh, here across the city uh city We're reporting live from Mobile Two in the city of Mount Vernon, Westchester County. Take a look over here on the roadway. Just in the last half hour or so the flakes have begun to stick a little bit on the asshole uh, as uh, fault. In Princeton we picked up nine inches of snow. Bill Ricca had seven, the biggest amount that I could find, almost as big as me about nine inches. The wind is beginning to pick up here in Lowland again. Not really more accumulating snow, but just a biting, granular, kind of slutty, excuse me, slushy, icy snow. Megan, back uh, to you. All right, so if they're canceling the train, does that mean that you and I are having another night in bed together? <laughs> That's a long story. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I have no words, yeah. except that we're going to be on YouTube in a few minutes. <laughs> and for more now on what we can expect from this winter blast, let's bring in Weather Channel meteorologist Mike Seidel. He's in Sugar Mountain, North Carolina. Hi, Mike. Why? Well, obviously, Mike, not quite ready for us, but let's turn to some other news we're following on this uh, Saturday night. Alan, Laura, how much worse is it likely to get? Dude, aren't you cold? Oh man, I'm from Wisconsin. From Wisconsin, everybody. Well, there you go. A lot of friendly New Yorkers out here enjoying the snow. 
and some not enjoying it. Uh. Live outside our studios in New York. I think I heard you say there's also another storm coming, Rick. 16 miles an hour gusts here in Stony Brook. Now, this is just down the street from Port Jefferson, and I'm going to throw my anemometer off to the side. And if you, everybody's having a great time out of here, obviously, with the, with the snow. So in this hand, I keep uh, weather.com, uh, National Weather Service, and a couple of models running so we can see what's going on. On this hand, I keep the uh, weather channel just so if we are talking maps, I can see what maps are. So we're kind of double handing on the uh, iPads here just to get it, make it all work. The people have uh, put on their scarves and their hats and their big coats, and we've seen a couple of people walking down the street now that they've been plowed. We've seen a couple of people jogging down the street, um, and, they, and they are on the street because the... Uh, the uh, sidewalks are still pretty thick. Now, we spoke to some people earlier today about... Um, Spårvagnstrafiken då? Rullar den överhuvudtaget eller står det helt still? Jag har inte sett en enda spårvagn under hela morgonen. Det står helt stilla, vad jag kan se i alla fall. I, i alla fall de turerna som går in mot centrala stan. Jag står alltså på avenyn. Det är det normalt sett vid den här tidpunkten är väldigt, väldigt stark trafik av, av spårvagnar. Jag vill inte vara här och joyride. VDOT frågar folk att stå av de rådarna och det hjälper dem att gå snabbare här. Men om du kan ta en titt på de rådarna här, så har det förändrats, men de rådarna här kommer att förändras överhuvudtaget. Vi är på ungefär 30 grader nu. And uh, they're going to be in the single digits tonight, so expect that to refreeze. Really, I mean, not to be a killjoy in all of this, but if you are going to venture out on this hill, be safe, wear a helmet if you can, because, like I said, it's getting icier and icier as that snow just compacts further and further. And we know that it's not going to get any better. Uh, in fact, it probably will get worse as long as this corridor is open. Again, you just saw a car go by behind me. Buses are coming through here, too, and as I mentioned, a number of close calls, but still Police fun to watch. just stopped because of your reporting. Thank you so much for ruining the fun. Total, complete killjoy. All Something right, that's well, gone on for a decade, and you've ruined okay, it. Okay, okay. Um, wow, 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 wow. You know, some folks are throwing snowballs at me here. It is snowball weather as well. Oh, there we go. Folks, I want to show you the wind is really starting to pick up here. They're expecting this snow to get much more. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, guys. And these roads and these bridges can be extreme, extremely, extremely dangerous. So, anyway, live at Pocahontas. I'm going to get you for that. Keith Bowles, Region 8 News. That was perfect. <laughs> perfect. This is what you make snowballs out of. This is the wet stuff. This is the stuff that when it's falling, you can hear it hitting your jacket. When it hits you in the face, it sticks to your... To snap. Yeah, Woo! this is what... This is what this the, the people out here are doing. Okay, guys. Guys, we're good. Thank you. They're, uh, they're all uh, loaded up, as you can see, with <laughs> snow. That, that probably wasn't the best idea I've had this weekend. We're enjoying it here, Martin. <laughs> They're having a great time, as you can see. <laughs> I'm hoping that the snow runs out fairly quickly. OK, Martin, as you said, probably not the best idea. I suggest you get your own back on them. And we'll, <laughs> we'll come back to you a bit later on. This actually isn't hot coffee. It's some hot water I picked up at the gas station. Let's see if we can actually make a little bit of snow for everybody here. See if it's cold enough for this to happen. Hopefully I didn't leave this in the truck too long. Oh, yep, that didn't work. Oh, listen to that. Son of a, oh my goodness. Oh yes, 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 we got it, baby. We got it, we got it. Woo, woo, we got it, yes. Listen to that! Listen to that! Oh, baby! Number five! Number five! That's number five, baby! Yes! Yes! Woo! By tomorrow morning, um, or we won't be like this at least. Oh, we have right, that just happened right behind us. I'm glad it didn't happen to me. This started as a mix, mainly sleet though this morning, so making that layer of ice on the roadways. Then you have this this fluffy, you know, powdery snowfall right after. Good morning, Francis. Oh, what was that called? Sliding. <laughs> oh, good morning, Jen. Wow. So <laughs> right when you were talking, we were sliding out a little bit. I don't know 
if you saw that. Way here on Long Island. Earlier today, Nassau County Executive Ed Mangano did say that they have treated the roads that are normally trouble spots. They have the plows out, so he thinks they are ready for this, and they are ahead of this storm. As the snow continues to fall overnight, only time will tell. Reporting live from Nassau County, Stacey Hill. News 4, New York. Ooh, I don't know what just happened there. Quite a scene behind her there. I'm not sure if that was a little sliding or spinning or intentional. Hill, and we've got Carly now stuck downtown. Carly, tell us where you are. <laughs> Is okay, it? so I'm at YMCA Way and Charlotte Avenue, Charlotte and I need, Avenue. I need y'all's help. I want to show you, I, I'm, hitting, I'm hitting the gas and I'm not going anywhere. Oh, wow, deteriorating conditions for sure. It's incredible to see what's happening out there. Let's start off with our traffic jam, Jimmy. He's out in our Lynn Solar Mobile Drac, and he's been everywhere from Pennsylvania, now down through Towson. Hi, Jimmy, what's the latest? Hello, please move forward to the next speaker. Hey, hey. is it too early to get a fish sandwich? Oh, next speaker, hang on. Oh, Candace, we live? Whoops. Hey, I've been in the car since 4 o'clock. I'm starving. I'm just getting something real quick. <laughs> hey, it's too early to get a fish sandwich? Okay, well. Uh, yeah, can I get a fish sandwich? Uh, we're on breakfast right now. Breakfast? So now. All right, give me a uh, egg McMuffin and a black coffee. Thank you. What size would you like? Medium. All right, I'll tell you, folks. Stay put. It's bad out here. I've been out since 4. Stay put, folks. Trust me. I didn't know we were coming live. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm hungry, so I'm going to get a little something to eat. They expect you to work for eight hours in the car. you got to eat, Candace. All uh, right, anyway, don't tell the boss I did this. Folks were told to stay off roadways unless absolutely, positively necessary. I wanted donuts. In altitude and up at the top, more than two feet of snow here in Big Bear. Ready for the snow? Fuck okay. yeah. Oh, well, uh, let's keep going down here. What's your advice on that? Um, yeah, bundle up, but if you can, stay indoors. What's your plan for the rest of the day? Netflix and chill, baby. <laughs> well, the Mahler says we had to go anyway. We hadn't much a choice in the matter, but sure. It's a cold, cool, it's a cold cool journey to school this morning. Oh, good, you wouldn't belong getting frost, but. Thousands of passengers across the East Coast, of course, had to alter their plans. And we spoke to one kid who was trying to cope with the delay. I'm just sitting there on my iPod. It's just so frustrating. I want to be in Florida getting a tan on my back. We just came from shopping at Lost Tan. It's the only store that's open on 86th Street because my man here did so well on his test. He just wanted some hand lotion, and we went up and got it, but now they're closing. Now, let me ask you. You, you, you got good marks, and, <laughs> and you wanted hand lotion? I guess because it's cold, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. We're going to make sure our hands stay moisturized. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great night. Have you been out driving? What are you, writing a book? Yeah. Well, leave that chapter up. <laughs> I've been over to VA hospital. Yeah. They canceled the appointment because the <laughs> couldn't get out there. What are you doing with that <laughs> Channel 2, get out of here with that bullshit. I caught up with Chelsea and Michael who were jogging by and were nice to just stop for a quick second. And I said, what are you doing running? And you're saying it was really good out? It's the perfect texture for running. Very low impact on its dry snow so your feet don't get wet. We've seen a lot of people out here, like you said, running, sledding, just enjoying it. One thing, oops, that could happen, unfortunately. Looks like Chelsea's okay. You okay? Yes, okay. I'm gonna tell you why we're having trouble with this forecast and why it is so tough. I'm gonna keep it real and keep it authentic. That's how I roll. I have been here since, what, 3.30 this morning? Yeah. And it is now, I don't even know what time it is, 9.45. I'm exhausted. I've run out of things to say. It is <laughs> snowing, and it sucks here. <laughs> and it looks like we might have some snow that day. Oh. No way. I know. That's April 7th. I know. Sorry. Worst winter it's ever. Rena's gone. <laughs> Worst winter ever. <laughs> As these temperatures drop here, they are worried about the slush freezing up. Part of Metro's emergency plan includes an overflow emergency shelter for the homeless and people stranded in the storm. It's at the farmer's market, and our Mark Bellinger was just there. Mark? Yeah, people that are going to be dying over the next couple of days. We were going to be losing our uh, heat in many of our homes. People will be making poor choices. We're going to see people use candles. We will have many, many fires. We will see some of the heaters that will catch fires. We're going to see people bring generators into their houses. It is such a dangerous situation that we have just entered and we just were hoping that we would avoid it but we got slammed in the worst possible way the guard is gearing up for and prepared to lend a hand where needed so what is the current status well 
right now we've got about uh, 400, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100